Welcome to tutorial number 153. In this tutorial, we will talk about the next command, the MITER flange. We will talk about the basics of using the MITER flange, and we will make a simple example and show you how to make a MITER flange, and then we will make another example to compare it with the edge flange and see the differences. In the previous tutorial, we talked about the edge flange and the base flange. When we start using the MITRE flange and the next commands, you will see many options are similar. So you should be familiar with them. Here I start a new part file. So let's start to make a very basic base of steel. Select top plan, base flange, and center rectangle. with some dimension. Cheat meter base flange. Give it one millimeter thickness, 0.4 K factor, click OK. Now I will make a basic edge flange, but by using the mitre flange. Go to the mitre flange, and once you pick the mitre flange, you will see the message here. And you will notice there are two options to start mitre flange. Simply, I can say you can just take the edge where you want to create your mitre flange. So let's pick this edge. And once you pick that edge, SolidWorks automatically opens to you a sketch. It's sketch 6. And also inserting a plane. So this sketch, you are going to draw your edge or mitre flange. So click normal tool, select the line, and we said we want to make it a uh, edge flange. So it will be, in this case, just a line. So give it a dimension, 50, click OK. The plane or the sketch is perpendicular to the edge you selected. So now when we exit, you will notice you got that edge flange. And here you will see similar options and start and which we will talk later about the start and end offset. For now, click OK. So as we said, once you create a matter flange, it will create a plane for you and a sketch. For now, there are nothing special. We already learned how to create a similar shape by the end flange. So let's see what we can do more with the edge or the mitre flange. Go to the mitre flange, edit feature, and on the mitre parameters, select the rest of the edges. And as you notice, you are simply creating many edge flanges by selecting the edges in series. And when you are done, click OK. Hide this plane. So now you got this box. So now let's continue about the next options. Go again to the mitre flange. Edit. The radius is already selected and Let's see the other options. We already talked about the plans position. Let's make it outside. And the gap distance, it is the gap between the edges or the flanges. You can make it 0.25 or 0.5.
I will make point one. So you know it means this gap. So now to the next option start and end offset. You remember the best sketch which started the mitas, the sketch six, and you will notice it is in the corner over here. So the start and end gap you will notice it means the start gap of the sketch. Let's see the start zero and the end five millimeter. You will notice the gap with the starting sketch. And you can make the start also five. You will get the start and end gap. I make it two millimeter and two millimeter and when you are done click OK so at this point we worked with the miter flange and we saw the options but for now there is nothing special we already could make this shape with the edge flange the only difference right now is the end and the star. So now I will make another example that will show you the difference between the edge flange and the mitre flange. As you remember, we make this box in previous tutorial. We made it this flange, edge flange, and another edge flange. Three steps. So the first is flange, a U-shape, as you notice here. And then we made the edge flanges over here and here. And then we made the mitre flanges over here by the edge flange. And as you remember, with the third flange, we have an angle of 80 degrees. So let's see how to create a similar box, but with the mitre flange. Start a new part. Start by making a base plate on the top plane by the base flange. Select a center rectangle. Make the two edges equal. Dimension 100 millimeter. Base flange 0.41. Okay. Select a meter flange and select the edge where you want to create. So we open it a uh, sketch normal to and now let's make a sketch. And this time we will have a second line. So this is the first difference you have to actually make two edges at once so let's give it some dimension and angle we said 80 from outside so it is 100 and give this edge 20 and when you are done Exit the sketch and select the rest of the edges. And when you are done, click OK. And as you know, we talked about the option over here. Just click OK. And you will notice that we created the same box in just two steps. So you will see that this tool is a time saving. And also you are able to create several edges at once. There are cases where the mitre flange might not work. For example, if you would like 
to pick a miter flange in series, the edges should be on one single part. I mean, when we created this miter flange, we make it in one single plate so we could select the edges on series. And also, the starting sketch should be on a perpendicular plane on the selected edge. For example, let's start to make a mitre flange on this edge. Click mitre flange, select that edge, and we started a sketch. When you go normal to, you will see the plane is not perpendicular on the edge on that surface over here. So this might create a problem and the mitre flange won't work. So let's make a line, select this plane, and make a line, exit. You will see view when you click OK, there is an error that couldn't work. Exit that sketch and you can make it with an edge flange but we will see how to make it again with the miter flange and delete this then so go again to the same miter flange there is no need to create an edge flange we will save the steps go to the miter flange and edit sketch normal two and add another two edges give it equal relation and dimension 10 millimeter and exit you will notice the shape is updated so we created this box with only two steps with the help of miter flange so you will see how time saving is this tool and imagine if you would like to create this shape with only the edge flange you need one two three four steps and also it allow you to create detailed sketches that cannot be created by the edge flange for example let's go back to the starting sketch sketch six edit sketch normal two and let's add a bended edge or a hem Big arc and define it with some relation dimension for example this bended edge exit from the sketch and you will see that you created that hem. You can flatten, see how it looks. 